Last season we left off uh, where Jackie realizes she's sort of been found out. There are many roads in front of her, and which one will she take? Blow me. Edie Falco returns in her Emmy-winning role as Jackie in season three of Nurse Jackie. We left her with her back up against the wall, but Jackie is never one to give in. Action. Last season we left off where Kevin and O'Hara staged an intervention. You're a drug addict. Yeah, you know what, you're pathetic, both of you. The beginning of season three, we find ourselves back in the bathroom. She is clearly not ready to give up yet. She still feels like uh, this can be managed. Razors, muscle relaxers. Half the on here is school supplies. Everybody knows that an addict has to hit bottom before they can come up. So she hasn't hit her bottom yet. And we're curious to see how that's going to happen. From her horror's point of view, I think she would like Jackie to get help as soon as possible. Jackie's life is moving at a very quick pace, and the ramifications of her actions are being felt by her and by others at a quick pace. This lies on top of lies crap. Maybe you can live like that. I can't. So that's what this season is, her continuing to try to manage this somewhat unmanageable life that she has. Jackie, your husband is here to see you. I am having an aha moment like you can't even believe. Now I get it. She, she was into me. She was into Eddie. Another brother's lady? Not cool, mister. You Sam's girlfriend. <laughs> Last season, Coop was left kind of with a bloody nose. <laughs> it broke his nose because he slept with my girlfriend. It's interesting to try to see, you know, Coop trying to apologize and how, you know, I get to react to that. Dear Sam. I am sorry I slept with your girlfriend. As Coop tries to make nice with Sam, All Saints welcomes a new face to the ER. I play Kelly Slater. I'm a new nurse. Kelly just pops up like a jack-in-the-box one day during surgery. It's hilarious. Hey, everything all right? My name's Kelly. You're All Saints. You're going to be OK. He's a very good nurse. And he's a cool guy. He's comfortable in his surroundings, which has enabled him to pretty much blend in wherever he goes. You got to take your skills and travel, even if it's to another hospital. These nurses that stay in one place, they're off their game. And then you come to All Saints, where you know, this is Jackie's fiefdom. The potential for tension, one way or another, is palpable. Tension builds at work, but Jackie finds a much needed ally at home. And Toonie's gonna stay with us for a couple of weeks. I play Toonie and she is pretty wild. I down four more black Russians, like two or six Heineken, whatever, and the next thing you know, I'm at your door. Toonie is my husband's sister, and she kind of enters into the family dynamic a bit. Kevin told me everything. And I told him, Kevin, interventions are just rude. She's cute and she thinks Eddie's cute, and Kevin thinks those two should hang out, and so that gets uh, complicated. Eddie, that, that's the one you want me to go out with, right? Just a thought. Last one broke his heart. After season two, I was like, well, what do we do with season three? How do you top season two? But they wrote some pretty fantastic things. Their ability to keep it interesting, believable, honest, and funny. That's what I really admire. This is weird. So weird. <sighs> The writing is great, not just because the dialogue is snappy and funny, but uh, just the ideas that are unconventional and unpredictable, and at the end, you're moved by it. And Lady Falco was equally moved by her recent Emmy win for her role as Jackie. It's a big deal. It's a very big deal. And I'm so thrilled to receive accolades of any kind. It's more than I can process. See Edie Falco in Nurse Jackie.